Penetrating chest trauma can be immediately life-threatening and needs urgent medical intervention. This is particularly the case where the wound communicates with the chest cavity, causing an open pneumothorax, potentially collapsing the affected lung. The lungs are normally soft and compliant and fill the pleural cavity. On inhalation, the intercostal muscles lift the rib cage, expanding it and creating a negative pressure. With an open airway, the lung expands to fill the space. This is assisted by the muscular sheet known as the diaphragm contracting and flattening, also enlarging the chest cavity and expanding the lungs. In open pneumothorax, a wound creates an open passage between the external environment and the pleural cavity. Air can potentially pass in and out of the chest cavity through the hole in the chest. With the loss of negative pressure in the pleural space, which would normally hold the lung in an expanded state, the lung on the affected side will now collapse. With inspiration, the rib cage will expand and the diaphragm flattens, but the negative pressure may now pull air into the chest cavity through the hole in the chest wall. Depending on the size of the wound, the affected lung may partially expand or may remain completely collapsed. The effect of air being drawn in through the hole in the chest has led to the term sucking chest wound, though this movement of air may not always be obvious. Treatment of open pneumothorax involves applying a seal to the chest, which, by means of a valve, will allow blood and air to be expelled during exhalation, allowing a negative pressure to be created and the lung to reinflate. The patented Russell chest seal represents a state-of-the-art dressing designed by leading trauma experts for this specific purpose. It has a valve designed to open with a small positive pressure gradient and with sufficient capacity to allow a high flow of air and fluid to pass through it. Four apertures allow this to happen efficiently and with minimal risk of obstruction. On inhalation, even a small negative pressure will make the valve close, even in the presence of fluid such as blood. The Russell chest seal has no latex parts and is designed to remain highly occlusive in order to make an effective seal. By incorporating a hydrogel-based dressing with a breathable outer layer, the dressing can remain highly adherent even on a patient with hairy or sweaty skin. The Russell chest seal is a safe and easily applied dressing that can be incorporated into the most basic of first aid measures, with the potential for achieving a pronounced clinical improvement of the casualty. <laughs>